Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering the second period between Grand Rapids Red Team versus the Bayshore Bruins on this squirt tournament in Traverse City, January 5th, 2018. This is your commentator, Razor Razor Sharp. And I'm calling a very non-competitive hockey game to be straight with you. The puck has not been in the Bruins zone even five minutes the whole, or well, three minutes maybe the whole, the whole 12 minute period. This puck has been nowhere but in the Grand Rapids zone and that's why we have a score that we have. Here comes another breakaway. Maybe, maybe the goaltender can save one, but no, this time he deeks and it's five nothing. Um, these players, if you ask me, should be on travel. This is not even looking fair. But it's hockey. Bruins got to work hard to get one goal. Can they even get one goal is the question. I don't really see any kids out there that are not nine years old either, or 10 years old. I think Grand Rapids has all 10 year olds. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Here we go. Bruins on the face off. Let's try to make this a hockey game. There we go. Richmond's gonna have a chance. Can he get around the defense? No, he cannot. Here comes another chance, but defender's up. Good job on defense. Here come the Bruins trying to get a breakout. Richmond's trying to get up the ice, but good defense. Not only can Grand Rapids play amazing offense, they're great on defense. So this is a troublesome game today. Here comes number 12, he looks like a high schooler. Yeah. Nice stop there by Sawyer Stone. There we go. This could be a play by Jackson. Casey Action Jackson is a sniper. Could he do it? Nice save by the goaltender. Even their goaltender is rock solid. Alec Goss on the faceoff. Good, good pressure. That's offsides. Jordy Richmond's gonna try to make a play. Oh, that should be a penalty. And here it comes, who is that? Arlo Augusta can't even get a shot on goal with good defense from the, the mammoth number seven. Another big kid. These kids are huge. No offense, but I've never seen nine and 10 year olds this big. <laughs> Holy crud, look at the size of that kid. Good defense. Way to go, Ian Boss. Bad communication there. Here comes Richmond. Richmond's gonna have a shot, but he has three defenders up. Boy, it's gonna be fun to see if we can even score one goal versus this team. That's all I wanna see is a goal.
7.40 left in the second period. It's a score of five nothing. The only good news is that the Bayshore Bruins have not given up another goal. Offsides on that play, Tyler into it. Well, Goss working hard trying to keep that puck, but we got some good hockey players out here. Good defense. But number 17 cleans up. Good defense by Ella Goss. Good job, Mr. Goss there. Just trying to get the puck out of the zone is all they're trying to do right now. Still not out of the zone. Still not. Still not out of the zone. That will be an icing. Good stick by Snover. To reflect that puck away from the goal. Up the ice comes Ari Starr. All right, Star's working hard, but there's just no match to the type of competition we're facing here. There's nobody that can even match up to this team. Even our best players can't. Here comes Alec Goss with a chance. Just backhands wide. Oh, Goss gonna, good defense. The puck is not gonna get out of the zone. Five nothing as the Bruins are fighting back. Not allowing any more goals is a nice thing to see. Jackson's gonna have a chance. At least try to put it on net somewhere, some way, but that goaltender is equal to the task. Face off by Jordy Richmond. Anderson March gonna bring that out, try to set back up. Oh, penalty. Garen is absolutely smashed on the ice by a behemoth-sized nine-year-old or 10-year-old or maybe a 15-year-old, you never know. I hope he's okay. We'll pause for a second. We're back to hockey and George Garen is up and going back to the bench, which is good news. We are on the power play. Rightfully so. That puck is shot from outside. Now they gotta keep the puck in their own zone with more with with being with a more dominant force with five against four. They should be able to stay in the zone, but I don't know, man. This this team they're playing is very sound in all areas, so just don't want to see a shorthanded goal. We want to we want to see the Bruins score a goal. Looks like Grand Rapids is controlling the puck while they're on the power play. That's ridiculous. But that's why the puck is a free puck. 
There's a good pass out of the zone. Jackson coming up the ice. And then Boss pushes the puck up into the zone. Can we get some zone time now? Oh, there's that number seven. Comes Richmond. Good play there. But the tower, number seven, his name is Dodd, is there to get the puck. Here comes Ian Boss trying to come in the zone. Can we even have a chance? I don't even know if I've seen any shots on goal in this game by the Bruins. And then Boss working hard there. Shot from out. That goaltender catches that one. We've got seven seconds left in the period. I mean, in the penalty, it looked like it uh, wasn't even a power play, but eh, not bad. Jackson's gonna work hard to get this puck. Offsides. Alec Goss stepping up in the faceoff dots again. Good hard work by Jordy Richmond. Or I'm sorry, that was Arlo Augusta. Arlo Augusta centers, but only one home is the Grand Rapids Griffin. Or Grand Rapids. <laughs> I just called them a Griffin. That's probably a good thing to call them. That puck is going to go out of the zone. Like I said, they've kept this game 5-0. This is a pretty good a pretty good effort in the second period to keep them off the board. Alec Goss going to try to have a chance here. Augusta! Oh! Augusta misses! One fifteen left in the second. We got a Good save. Way to go, Sawyer Stone. Stars coming up the ice. That should have been a penalty. Can't just cut the kid off and knock him down. You gotta go for the puck. Here comes number 12. He's all in alone. He's gonna shoot. And he misses. What a humiliating period for the Grand Rapids Red Team who couldn't find a way to tally at all. It's a five nothing game, ladies and gentlemen. I call that, I call that an accomplishment on the Bayshore Bruins. <laughs>